South Africa, but my husband and my kids are from Anambra State, Uli. My problem is everything started where we were in South Africa. We were living together for eight years. We were doing fine until last year something happened. And Nigerians, they, they started fighting, shooting in each other. I don't know what was the reason. Maybe he knows what the reason. Then he told me that... You said Nigerians started fighting each other? Yes, they are shooting each other in South Africa. Then my husband told me that he's scared. He can't stay in South Africa again. He wants to come back to Nigeria. Then he went to my family. He went and tell them that he, he want to come back to Nigeria. He want to change the country. So he would like me and our three children to join him. He wants to introduce me and the children to his family. My, my family never accepted because my husband never paid my purpose. But for me, because I know his problems, I know what business is doing in South Africa. All what is passing through. I, I respected his wish. I followed him to Nigeria. I followed him because he told me that uh, when he comes to Nigeria, he wants to change the country. What makes me to follow him is that before in, in South Africa, he's, he has did a lot of things to me. He's, he has did a lot of things. So what came to my mind is that, okay, let me follow him because he want to he want he want his family to know me and the children let me follow him so because i know that maybe if he change the country go to another country it might happen that i will not see him again okay because of that you followed him here yes sir. so what is the issue now that you followed him here the issue yes since we came here i came to nigeria last year in november what makes me to come here I find out I was supposed to go back to South Africa on January 17. Then I was preparing to go back. I find out that he has canceled my ticket of flying back. So now he has been struggling, trying to find money to buy the tickets flying back, but he don't have money. Before we come here, there is his uncle living in UK. He promised him that so, because in South Africa there is nothing moving right for him. He should come back home. They will find something to give him so that he will start an, another business. But since he came to his family, he never behaved well. He's fighting his family, doing wrong things in front of my children, abusing themselves. Then I decided that no, I want to go back. I can't stand this. I can't let my children to face this suffer and watch all, all these things every day. So now I've been talking to him, trying to find money to go back to South Africa, but he don't have. That's why I came here, because I've been following this uh, ministry since, 20, since 2017. Okay, give, give him, give your boyfriend a microphone. Now, look at what your South African friend said. That two of you have born how many children? Three. Okay. Most three. Yeah, I, yeah. One. Now wait, wait, wait. She said that two of you have born three children, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. And you have not paid her bride price. All right. Okay. I will start from the beginning. Yes or no? I will give you Mark to talk. Okay. Uh, wait. 
Have you paid her bride price? I was preparing to pay the bride price. That is not the question. Have you paid her bride price? I've we I went to Switzerland. My brother, it's like he don't know me. Yes or no? Have you paid her bride price? No, sir. This is a simple question. Because I would like to speak English so that she will hear what I'm saying. All right. I traveled to South Africa May 19, 2015. By special grace of God, when I went to South Africa, I was doing very well because I'm self-employed. Yeah. So I was making CD. I said gospel music and movies and other things. So in 2017, I met her in South Africa. So when I met her, we started dating. She has been very good to me. She, have a, she never have any problem with me. We have lived up to eight years since we have together. We have lived up to eight years. We have been living peacefully. So the way things are going in South Africa, Nigeria, it was about four years ago. Nigeria, they started shooting themselves. Even I was asking myself, what kind of a country is this? Even someone that received me in South Africa, they shot him about 18 bullets. Because like me, I was born and brought up in Oshodi. We were about seven that left. To be honest, we were about seven guys that left, that went to South Africa. I'm the only person that came back alive. So there is a certain time I called him. I said, Nondu, I would like to pay your bride price. Then his dad was alive. His, his daddy was alive. So his mom is a teacher. So at the end of the day, by then I was preparing to pay our bride price. Then they started killing each other. Nigeria, they started shooting again, killing each other. So all my plans got spoiled. So last year, about almost 216 Nigeria died. They shot in South Africa. You know, as a man, I take care of my children, all their responsibilities. So I told her, let me travel, let me leave South Africa. Let me travel to another country. She said no, that wherever I'm going, that she cannot go with me because the love is very strong there. So at the end of the day, I said, okay, I must go and tell your parents because our parents, they are staying in Swaziland. So at the end of the day, we fly to Swaziland. I took my children, all of them, both my son and my two daughters with her. We fly to Swaziland. So I went to consult our parents. I told their parents that, you people should see. See what is happening in South Africa, where I am. That I want to take my children back to Nigeria. You understand? At the end of the day, her mom said, okay, but I should give them time. They're going to think about it. So then I sell all my property. I did everything. We book a ticket, everything. So they fly. So January 15th, I arrive in Nigeria. From there, I stay, I spend Lagos two days because all my mind was towards my family because I love my family so much. When I travel to village, the money I gave my dad, you know, for someone to travel abroad, abroad is not easy. So there is a money I gave my dad to keep for me. So my dad used the money and put it in a part of a house that he was building. When I came back, I asked my dad, what of the money I gave you? My daddy was telling me stories. And I said, my dad, you know, I'm not the first son. This is the money I suffered. This is the money I suffered. I gave you for you to keep for me. You know I got a family. I'm not the first son. You don't need to put this money in the house that you are building. At the end of the day, I was hungry, to be honest, because I know what I passed through in South Africa, both the winter, both the sun, both the everything. My uncle in America, he promised me that he's not going to do anything for me in South Africa. When I come back to Nigeria, he's going to establish me. But because of my annoyance with my dad, I have, I quarrel with my dad because money I gave him is millions and he spent it. So even my uncle started supporting my dad. So from there, I was fighting with all the members of the family, which my wife is not happy. At the end of the day, I told my wife, Mama, please calm down. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. You understand? Let's stay in Nigeria. Let's work together. Everything will be fine. 
she started saying that no, she can't stay in Nigeria. That she can't stay in Nigeria. So I'm that two of you are in Nigeria. What part of Nigeria are you two of you? Okay, I'm from Anambra State. Okay. Are you in the village? Yeah, we're in the Uli. Uli. Okay. Uli. Somebody yes. in South Africa. How can she be comfortable in a village? And I say, okay, you know what happened? My first son, because we are bearing the same name, Chukwoka Dibia, Chukwoka Dibia. I say, okay, my first son, I will leave him here in Nigeria because I want him to school. Because over there, they don't beat kids. Teacher doesn't have any right to beat kids. Yeah. And I say, okay, my first son will stay here in Nigeria. You can take the two girls and go back. That when this is right, let me stay in Nigeria. Let me arrange myself as a man. When this gets better, I will come over there to join him. They said the ticket has been canceled. That I never bought open ticket. So since then, she was angry with me. She was fighting with me. Okay. Madam, is that what happened? That is not what happened, sir. Okay, what happened? I called the lady. Okay, I Put your mic on your mouth. I called the lady. I used a Rwanda airline the time I was coming in. And then I asked him, why did you do a refund without telling me? Because before we came here, I told you that I will stay, but I will look things, how things are. If I am not comfortable here, I will go back with my kids. I never tell you that I came to Nigeria to stay for good. Then he never told me what the reason, what makes him to cancel my flight. Okay. Let me see the two kids first before. Okay. These are your two kids, right? Yes, sir. One is in the village. Yes, sir. A boy. You accepted to allow, allow it for him, right? Yes, I accepted, sir. Okay. This baby behaved like as if she knows me. Does she know me? <laughs> she always to see you on my phone. Oh, she wash on your yes, phone. Yes. They, did they know how to speak English or South Africa? She knows how to speak English. Okay, um, what I want to say concerning this matter is that sometimes people don't know what they have until they lose it. This South African woman is a nice person. Very, very nice person. South African does not stay with one man. He hardly see them. I have been in Joburg. I know how they used to do. Before the and so, when you have a woman that he did not pay her bride price, when you don't pay the bride price of a woman, you don't have the right over that woman. And when this woman wants to come back to Nigeria, I know so, the family said no, but she followed you. It's, it shows that she loves you. If it's me that have this kind of woman, I won't want to lose her for anything. Whatever I can do to keep her, to make her happy. Uh, because she may go back to South Africa now. After one year, two years, another man will come and carry her. She will not be waiting for you. If indeed you try to cancel her ticket without letting her know. That is not good. Because he didn't force her to follow you here. At that time, if she says she's not coming, you, nothing can make her. I know the law. Without her approval, I can't carry the children and cross the airport. True of us. You are true, sir. Uh -huh. So, what I see here is that the woman was uncomfortable with the life in the village. And I don't see anybody to be it's not easy. South Africans, they don't use to take light. They have 24 7 electricity. Life is easy there. You carry her, it's not even like the two of you are in Oka or Were or Lagos or Abuja. It's inside the village with a pit toilet. Somebody who goes to toilets in WC uh, started going in the pit. Uh, there is nobody to be. How many months did she spend with you there or weeks in the village? 
she came back. She came back on November 17. She left Nigeria on November 17. I came back in January. 15. Oh, she since November six till months. now, almost six months. Yes, sir. And the woman is nice. Don't lose this kind of woman. Uh, madam, I know why you want to go back because things are not in order. Right? Give her a microphone. Like things are not stable yes, for your sir. for your friend. Yes, why I call her your boyfriend because she has not paid your bride price. Yes, I know. You know that, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what if you get something you are doing and maybe if he has a house in Lagos, will you still want to go back to Joburg? I know so many South African women that are here in Lagos. Some are, you know, where they're in Oka, Tan. For now, I'll say, I'll say I would like to go back because all the things I see, all what, the way he was behaving, I didn't expect this from him. The way he was behaving through his father, the way he's treating his father, I don't like it. So I was not compatible at all. I would say I would like to go back. Maybe if I'm, I leave him for some time, he will come down, he will decide what he wants to know in his life. And it's not easy to say you will leave him for some time. He may go back to South Africa now. One Igbo man will come and you will forget this one. I will not forget him. He's the father of my children. And even him, he's fighting. He said he wants to go back to South Africa. And you may not forget him because the children will always remind you of him. But you may not end up marrying him. I will marry him, sir. <laughs> You're a nice person anyway. Um, I don't know. And for you willing to say, okay, let the boy stay. But if you don't know why I have a Daddy, daddy, to be honest, even I told her, Mama, you know I love you. We are spent. I love you so much. Which, how do she know you love her? Yeah? With this kind of beer? Even, even on Nigeria, over there, in South Africa. How do you love her? her? And that, the way you talk to your father is not... One of the things making her angry is that the way you behave to your father. Daddy, what she did for me, I've never seen a South African woman who can do it. Even people over there, they are asking me, where did I went to do juju? I told them, no. That. I told them that is okay, uh, woman. What of if I help, if I support to get a house for you in Lagos here, and you start small work, will you still want to go, or you just want to reach and come back? Because I don't want this relationship to scatter. I don't want this relationship to scatter. I know your boyfriend have done something that you don't like. I want two of you. The love you have for him that made you to come back, even when he wants to say, okay, let the boy stay. You are willingly chose you're the ninth person. If I say, okay, let me support to get house for you in town here, where there is light, where you can be doing something, um, will you still want to go? Or will you promise me you will go and come back? I want to hear from you. I hear what you are saying, say. I can do what you are saying because I have a professional work. I'm a, you say what? I have a professional work doing it with my hands. I'm, a, I'm doing saloon work. You are doing saloon work? Yes. Sir. So you can also do saloon in Lagos here? Yeah. My problem, sir, is that, like I said before, my parents, they never allow me to come, but I came. So if I'm not, it's because since January, they have been disturbing me, calling me. Ask me, where are you? When are you coming back? Because you say you're going to come back on January. What are you still doing there? So I don't know whether they will allow me to stay or not. Because they never allow me before. So if I tell them that I'm not coming back and I'm going with them and I never do anything, it's not good. I don't know. They will not allow me. Okay. You mean that when you go back to South Africa, they may not allow you to come back? They will allow me to come back. But for now, they're expecting me to come back. But oh. for me to come back, they, they want him to do the right thing before coming here. And that, yes. is, that is wonderful. Now, he's a, even, if, even if he has money now to come and pay the bride price, how will he, it be done? He's afraid of going to so that they will not kill him. So what will you say about that one? They won't kill him, say. He knows since he was there, I've been protecting him. They won't kill him. I, I love this marriage. Your husband will tell me 
what he will use to pay your bride price. I would support him to come and pay. Then when he paid, I will still want you to, if, you are, if he paid and the, he's not comfortable there. This one, he said that seven of them traveled there and only one is alive. If he wants to come, you can come. Lagos is okay. If, if you are doing hairdressing here in Lagos, you can make big money. You can make big money. So for you to say that you want to reach South Africa, I won't say no, you should not go. It's good for you to reach home to see your people. After all, he has not paid your bride price. But I beg you also to come back. Oh, we can't beg, sir. Please, I'm sorry. Baby, please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Even the way I speak to my father, I promise you when I go back to the village, I will reconcile with everyone. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. You know I love you. Please. You know I love you so much. I've Madam, he's begging like you. Please forgive me. I love you with all my heart. You know, since how many years we have been staying together, I never offended you. I've never hurt you for one day. Please forgive me. I love you. I, I will never leave Please. you. Please. I will keep on Please. loving you. Please. Please forgive me, please. You know I love you. Please. You know I promise you that I will never marry another woman except you. Please forgive me. 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 I would never leave you. I will keep on loving you till that many years. Give me 500,000. South Africa and pay your bride price. And uh, if he wants you to come back to Lagos, I can also help you to get a small a house. I believe Thank he truly you. loves you. That is one thing I'm sure. Thank you, sir. But my problem is that in the issue of tickets, I don't have tickets again. Well, because he cancelled your yes, ticket. He cancelled my ticket. Okay, sir. after the program, you meet Chris and tell him what about your ticket. Mm -hmm. Thank I will see so to much. it. I will see to it. Thank you so much, sir. Thank and you. you will leave us one. And you will leave us one. Oh, me and you. Me and you. Oh, no, it's okay. Me and you will leave us one. It's okay. After the program, I'm a Christian. I will pay for your tickets. God bless you.